good day everybody today we will be learning about static and dynamic slug flow analysis in scissor 2 software we all know that scissor 2 is a software developed by the company called hexagon initially it was developed by quaid and then hexagon took it over and now scissor 2 is scissor 2 software is with hexagon in this image you can show see that a slug is getting formed in a line so in this full tutorial we will be learning the methodology of performing slug flow analysis in scissor 2 software in two methods one is called static equivalent method and other will be dynamic method here we will be using dynamic response spectrum method the main contents of this tutorial or course are course objectives then what is included in this course who is this course for means who should attend this course who will be getting benefited by this attending this course then introduction to slug flow what does the term slug flow means and why should we consider slug flow as critical so all those introduction we will be covering there's a case study of static analysis of slug flow and a case study of dynamic analysis of slug flow basically the full tutorial is divided into three parts in the first part introduction to slug flow i will be explaining all the background theories of slug flow and also the steps how you can avoid the vibration problems in piping or pipeline systems and some steps by which you can avoid the slug flow formation itself so all those parts will be covered in the first part known as introduction module of the slug flow where the background theories will be explained first then there will be two more modules one will be explaining the static analysis method of slug flow calculation or slug flow analysis where we will be doing a case study of actual system and we will be incorporating the slug forces and we will show how to analyze those systems static equivalent method using equi using static equivalent method and once the static equivalent method of slug flow analysis is over in the next section or next part we will be explaining a case study of dynamic analysis of slug flow where again we will be taking a practical problem a small system and we will be generating all the dynamic load cases and perform the stress analysis so you can understood the actual steps that are required to be performed in a piping system and you can independently perform the stress analysis or slug flow analysis using the scissor to software now course objective the course is designed for intermediate pipe stress engineers please note this term carefully this is not for the perfect beginner who does not know how to use scissor to software because i will not be explaining the complete steps of modeling a system in scissor to software so you should have some background knowledge of using scissor to software then only you will get the benefit of this course means slug flow analysis by the way if you do not know uh, how to model a piping system in scissor to software then i have other courses available uh, that you can find in udemy so there you can go and enroll for that course and learn that course first and after that come back to this course this course will cover the steps for analyzing a stress system subjected to the impact of slug forces so when a slug force is there in a system that will be confirmed by process team then the steps what is required to take while performing your stress analysis those steps will be mentioned 
as already told that there are two methods of analysis that will be explained in this course one is static equivalent method of slug flow analysis in general slug forces are dynamic so in a static method it is not preferred to analyze the system however considering a dynamic load factor of a value of around 2 means we will be increasing the force that we will be calculating by a value of 2 we will double the force and then we will be incorporating those forces in static mode in static analysis that's why it is called static equivalent method and the second method we will be generating is response spectrum by calculating the forces and time durations and then we will be generating a response spectrum and we will be incorporating those spectrum in our analysis to find out the effect of slug flow in the system now what is included in this course this course will briefly cover the following points a brief introduction stating what is slug flow and why should we worry if you are not aware that slug flow is a type of two-phase flow in general there are many types of two-phase flow slug flow plug flow and this type of others and there are is a parameter called baker's parameter there is a curve from which you will be knowing that whether uh, the flow the two-phase flow rather is falling under slug flow or plug flow or any other dispersed flow all those type of flow and mainly slug flow is critical because it generates a dynamic stress in the system that impacts or that creates a huge force and these forces act at all the directional changes and t junctions and which have the potential to cause destruction in the piping system and in some cases it causes vibration of the piping system so because of that slug flow lines or piping systems which have slug flow are considered as critical and that is the reason during design phase or design stage or during stress analysis phase we should take care these slug flow problems and ensure that due to the formation of slug the system will not fail now how to calculate the slug forces we will be showing the formulas or explain the terms that are required to calculate the slug forces and also we will be telling from where to collect the data in most of the cases all the data need to be taken from process team itself because they are the owner of those data and they only will be able to tell you what are the values the data will be different for static analysis and for dynamic analysis all the data in static analysis will be required in dynamic analysis but along with that we have to calculate or find some additional data to perform dynamic analysis so we will explain from where this data to be collected and from where to get those data then where to apply the slug forces as i already mentioned that slug forces are means normally incorporated or applied at the directional changes mean at all elbows and at the t junctions uh, now for the elbows that are vertically downward direction on those elbows we can skip applying this uh, slug force because it is believed that uh, piping system with vertically downward uh, flow uh, there is very less possibility of accumulation of this slug and then accumulation of liquid rather and to form a slug and because of that the piping system with vertically downward elbows normally not considered for application of slug forces regarding t junctions various organizations has different uh, methodologies some organizations use slug forces at the t junctions whereas some organizations does not use again the same is applicable for uh, free blind flanged ends also in some organization they consider the slug force at the free blind end uh, blind end and in some organization 
they does not consider so accordingly you have to follow your uh, project specification that whether to consider or not then in next section we will cover the static equivalent method of slug flow analysis in Caesar 2 software and in next section dynamic response spectrum analysis in Caesar 2 in Caesar 2 software has a very nice module called dynamic response spectrum slug flow and search flow module in that module we will be showing how to input the parameters how to create the load cases and how to analyze and what to check in the analysis results to see the output then we will see some of the steps by which we can reduce the vibration and certain methods to avoid slug flow formation so hope I am clear that what this course will be covering and now if you feel that this course is suitable for you you can go ahead and enroll for this course now so who is this course for who should attend this course who will be getting benefited by attending this course specifically piping stress engineers then piping lead engineers who reviews piping stress systems performed by other third party organizations or performed by juniors then mechanical piping engineers who wish to study the impact of slug forces in piping systems and plant piping engineers who also have an hunger for learning slug flow problems and finally anyone who deals with slug flow problems in his career path so all these professionals will be benefited by attending this course that's all for this introduction part of this module hope you are clear what i will be covering so go ahead and enroll for this course and enjoy learning thank you